It's a big day in Africa for Ghanaian clubs, and currently two of them are in very contrasting situations. Welcome to the Sport on Pulse. I'm Gary Al Smith. Asante Kotoko are currently in the penalty shootout with their Congolese uh, counterparts. It ended again just as it started in the, in the first leg. Kotoko won by a goal to nil. Kara also won by a goal to nil in regulation time, 19 minutes. And so they went into penalties. As we speak, the score is that Kara and Kotoko are deadlocked and they are playing for, well, to find out who is going to miss the most right now. We are going to get an update on that. Three, four, four. Kotoko, 4-4 four, four with Kara at the moment. Kotoko have scored four, and Kara of Brazzaville have scored four as well. The Pokewine Warriors have missed two. The Congolese have also missed two penalties. Meanwhile, in Doma, Adriana Stars are winning. They've scored two goals, one from Elvis Opoku and the other just two minutes ago from Wahab Adams means that it's 2-0 to Adriana Stars, and they are leading by two goals to one on aggregate. So as it stands, Adriana are going through in the CAF Confederations Cup, Kotoko, a deadlock in the CAF Champions League. Throughout this bulletin of um, seven minutes or so to go, I'll be letting you know what happens to the Porcupine Warriors and to uh, the team from the Bonaf region. The other thing that we'll be looking at is the Champions League. Yesterday, we saw some great games. Bayern winning by five goals to nil without reply. And Chelsea and Barcelona still settling for a deadlock at the bridge. Today, another English team is in action in Spain. It's Manchester United getting ready to face a beer at the Ramon Sanchez Pituan Stadium. Manchester United have the tough task of facing Sevilla in the first leg of their UEFA Champions League last 16 tie, set to take place at the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan. This will be a first meeting between the two sides who so happen to be the winners of the last four editions of the Europa League. Sevilla won a hat-trick of titles between 2014 and 2016, before United dethroned them last year. And it will be the Red Devils that will be looking to take an advantage back home with them against La Liga's fifth best side to date. Yes, I'm happy with our team's performance, even though we can always improve to try to be at the best level for matches such as the one we're going to play. We do have a great win rate, but we can also improve it. Regarding facing Mourinho, I'm extremely emotional about it. Mourinho is a pioneer in a specific way of managing. I've read a lot of his books. I've read a lot about his tactics. And the hosts will have to do something no other Sevilla side has done before. This is to make it past the round of 16 stage, having lost all three of their ties in the first knockout stage, including a 3-2 defeat to another English outfit, Leicester City, over two legs a year ago. And while they were favourites back then, they have been pinned down as underdogs over two legs this time around. I do think this is an extra motivation for us. We will be even more motivated once people consider Manchester United as favourites. We want to show them that we can win it. So we go to Doma right now to speak to Delali Atiase, a man from Love FM who is there covering the Adriana game. And also we update you on what's happening with Kotoko. Kotoko have missed again one of their penalties. Kara have also missed theirs. So we are deadlocked. Kotoko have now scored again. And we are waiting for Kotoko's, um, for Kara to play theirs and we see what's happening. But Delali Atiase, we understand it's 2 0 where you are. Well, I'm the story here. At the Mama Edwin Benu Park inside the Diana Stars are leading by two goals to zero. In the first 45 minutes, it was a barren game with both goalkeepers not really being tested by either of the two sides here. But in the second half, and the Diana has lifted up their game and they got the first goal through Elvis Opoku. It was after the corner kick was floated, the ball was cleared by the Libyans, but it was not good enough. And Elvis Opoku came in with a long shot to get a first goal. Then the substitution was made. Bright AJ was brought in for some Adams. And immediately Bright AJ came on. He changed the game on the part of Adriana Stars with his second run trying to get the lead for Adriana Stars. And indeed, they got a second goal through Terry's example. So the story now is that Adriana Stars are leading by two goals to zero. As we approach the 80th minute mark of this game here, I don't know how everyone will part. And if the score line should stay safe, that it means that Ghana will be selling to, to the next stage of the competition. But I should say that on the whole, the Olympians are practically very effective, but the Ghana staff look more determined, and they are coming very strongly, both in the first half and the second half. They've enjoyed a lot of possession here, and it's so much of a surprise.
that they are leading by two votes to zero. Right. Thank you very much, Delali Atiase, for that. I was just checking my screen to see what is the latest there. So, Epson, let's know. So it's 4-4. Four, 5-5. Four. Five, 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 five. Five, five now. Yeah. Kazuko scored and they replied with a good goal. So, it's 5-5 five, five now. Still dead lock. Yeah. Um, eight penalties played. Yeah. Three missed. Kotoko five. Kara, five. <laughs> Said to be an interesting one. We'll, we'll be updating you. So, we're talking about the... Kotoko score again. Champions League. Tonight, quick updates uh, on, on, on that one. We know that Pogba will be available today. Of Eric Bailly, a lot of people say, even if it's half fit, he should be playing. Of course, because you look at the Manchester United defensive setup, and people have not been impressed with the partnership of Smalling and Jones because they, they have been gifting the opponents a lot of goals lately, especially in the game against Newcastle. It was the deadly error by Smalling that gifted Newcastle the opportunity to score there. So I think going to a stadium like the Manuel Sanchez Pizuan, you need a, a fit Eric Bailey to be available for you to to throw the moves of of the the experienced Sevilla side. Because if you look at the Sevilla side, they have Premier League experienced players in there. They have Nolito, there is, there is Nzonzi, who all formerly played for Stoke City, and Jesus Nava. So you have to be very careful there. Um, yeah, so we'll be, we'll be looking at updates from that. Kotoko have scored again. Kara have also scored. It's 6-6 six, six now in that game. I, I, I think that it would be fair to say <laughs> that Kotoko will be ruining their missed penalties here. Of course, because you, they were awarded four penalties, and they, and they could only score. They could only score one, and it, people have been complaining. And the coach, everybody will be ruining this if Kosoko do not progress, progress to, the, to this stage. To this All right, stage. thank you, Fifi. Yeah. And then head over to myjoonline.com, where we'll be giving you an update of the final whistle. Kosoko have just missed their tenth penalty. Um, we are waiting for Kara to play this, and we hope for the best for the Porcupine Warriors. I'm Gary L. Smith.